he is a very happy kid. He really likes to play and run around. Um, well, he had an enlarged spleen about a year and a half ago, and um, they didn't really know why, and they kind of checked some stuff and nothing really came up. They just thought it was just an infection. He had um, just kind of black stools, and uh, he was in diapers, of course, and I didn't really understand that it was that big of a deal. I didn't understand that it could be blood. Um, he was diagnosed in September um, with portal vein thrombosis. They really didn't tell us that there was a solution for it. Portal vein thrombosis, it's not a common disease, so it's not like something that if you're a primary care doctor, you're gonna be seeing every week. They thought that um, perhaps over time, since he was young enough, that the veins around the blockage could possibly reroute themselves. The Rex shunt basically is a way that we reconstruct the normal venous conduit from the intestine to the liver. They're going to take a part of the vein out of his neck, the jugular vein, and insert it into and around the blood clot and then into the liver. We were told by our kid's GI doctor that nobody in St. Louis does this particular shunt surgery. So she said that Chicago is the only place to do it with Dr. Severina. Families come to us from uh, a lot of places now. Um, most of the Midwest obviously comes to here. How's your arm doing? That's good. Must be almost ready to come The very deep layer of expertise that we have here at many different levels in pediatrics and anesthesia and critical care and, uh, allows us to do this surgery. Do you want to listen? He listened to Mommy's Heartless Sight in the night room. <laughs> we tried. Did you hear that? No, you want to hear it? It's been great. Uh, we haven't told him too much about what's upcoming. Um, he seems to be upbeat and just excited about everything, so we hope to keep him that way. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that <real> good? <laughs> Andrew has the most infectious smile of any child I've ever seen, and he gave me a great big smile and a huge high five and let me know that the work that I had done to help them prepare for this surgery made him a little more comfortable. Look at this silly mask I have to put on. Is that silly or what? What? <laughs> All right. Here we are. And so the risks of going into surgery are really minimal. Unfortunately, the anatomy uh, sometimes conspires against us, and it won't allow us to do, to do the operation. Um, but that's really the only risk. I think the hardest part for Kathy and I was to watch Drew get wheeled off as he went to operation. That was really tough, uh, but we had regular updates throughout the surgery, so we knew exactly what was going on. But the operation lasted about five hours? About five hours. Five hours. He was done. Five o'clock, Dr. Superina came out, and he was, you know, all smiles, said everything went perfectly. Yeah, you did great. Um, I think the next step, we're going to see Dr. Superina today, um, and he's going to look over the results of the ultrasound and the blood tests, um, and then he said we just have to follow up with our GI doctor in St. Louis. But from what he said after the surgery, I mean, his blood flow in his new vein is clear. He's been doing great. Looks like today the ultrasound went great. Um, you know, it's just better than they expected. All right, I just want to feel like Okay, let's lay down. And you can go home. So they fall off by themselves, but they fall off like <laughs> yeah. three months later. There you go. Yeah, you're a good patient, you know. Right? I don't know if you were laughing so much the last time. So the spleen is like maybe one or two centimeters. Was it bigger before? Yeah. And um, on the 13th, it was 10. No way. I swear. 10. Wow, ten. that's great. 10 down to 1. This spleen's always gone. Oh my goodness. Serious? If the operation goes well, patients bounce back really well, and they're usually out of hospital in five or six days. Children who have had the, the Rex shunt surgery often refer to their scar as a Mercedes-Benz scar because it looks like an upside-down Y. Kathy shared with me that they were driving past a, a Mercedes-Benz dealership, and he said, look, Mommy, there's my scar. So um, I think he's going to be good. We appreciate you coming no up. No problem. We'll have a good trip back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> can't thank you enough. I know. Of our son and getting better.
really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Keep up the great My work pleasure. and keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> what did you say to Dr. Superini? Are you going to tell him something? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for fixing me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Good, good job.